Welcome to Two Crazy Scoops, the Coffee Break Special, with your hosts, Ao, Antino, and Na. This week, we're going to be talking about road trips and all the fun, exciting things we do on the road. So, everybody, stay tuned. Should I let it play out, or just... Oh, wait, I gotta you unmute do it. you. There you go. However you want to do I it. I like the little thing thing. Then that, do it. That last part, man. Let it go. Everyone in this room. I'm going to outplay this whole thing. Having listened to it. <laughs> Welcome uh, to Two Crazy Goose Podcast with your hosts, Ao and Antino. This week, as I said, we're going to be talking about road trips. Uh, like, what was your first road trip, Aaron? First road trip. Uh, it was a family vacation. We went to Disney World, Florida. And we stopped and saw family along the way, driving from Detroit. So we stopped by Alabama, see some family. I think we went to Kentucky, either on the way there or on the way back. And, yeah, it was fun. Loved it. Had a blast. That was the first trip that I can remember. Nice. What about you, Alana? Oh, coming to this country. (laughs) (laughs) Technically. (laughs) 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 We were on the road. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Actually, I'm pretty sure with you On our trip to California, I think That was your first road trip? Yeah I mean, what you used to do with the twins, that was kind of Also to California, yeah We would um, go to the assembly in Norco (laughs) (laughs) What was the name of that? Food place that you guys like. Um, <coughs> what was it? Katie's Cafe. Katie's Cafe. Shout, Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, I went there. It wasn't that great. Oh, it's a I love place. it. <laughs> um, <laughs> my first road trip was, I think it was going to California with my parents. We used to go a lot. Like we'd go like once a year, mm-hmm. and we went with family sometimes. We went with <coughs> friends, and yeah, I hated California, but that's, that was me as a child. Oh, wow. I was an ungrateful person. <laughs> 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 I'm like, how dare you take me to California? That is I so hate funny. Disneyland, and, and you know it. of all places. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's funny, because I like living out in Arizona, because uh, I like being closer to Cali, because Cali was always a big deal whenever we went out there, but it's because we was flying from the opposite side of the country, so it was different. Whereas now living here, doing road trips is fun. I, I, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, what is your saying? What? Best thing to do in... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always tell people the, be- the best thing to do in Tucson is go to California. Yep. <laughs> Agreed. Because it's awesome. Now that I'm an adult and don't have to go to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It was funny because when I was uh, driving with Ethan back to Coolidge, uh, we were talking. I was like, dude, I said, how did people survive doing road trips without, like, Spotify or... An MP3 player. Well, we used to always have CDs or Dude, tapes. No, that I first trip I was telling you about to Disney World, I was eight. So we had cassettes. So we were playing those all the way there. And then we talk and laugh. Or you could you, DJ with the radio mm-hmm. stations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go back and forth. Because yeah, you're constantly dropping stations and regaining new stations. So you had to find out which station was in the new state that you were in, you know. So it was a, it was a, you know what's funny? We're so used to kind of doing our own thing and, kind of listening to music and stuff like that, but you used to interact a little bit more with people and you're just no, used to it. So I, just like to I know you don't like people, but flip on the radio <laughs> right. and drive. No. And I'm like, I hate this song. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> skip it. Yeah. Hey, one of the one of the more memorable road trips I had was um one time it was uh me and three other buddies of mine were going from New York back to uh, Ohio. To go to an amusement park there and then go to Detroit afterwards. So we were driving through New York, through Pennsylvania, which is the longest state it feels like when you're driving through it. Yeah. And um, it was late at night. And um, I was in the fr- I was in the front seat. My friend was driving his car and two friends in the back. They were knocked out. I was trying to stay awake because, you know, when you're. When you're in the front, your job is to try to help keep the driver up. But I was half, like, dozing, half trying to talk or whatever, but I was just kind of out of it. Anyway, long story short, we're, um, we're, we're in the middle lane on the highway. Must be 2, 3 in the morning. And um, 
all of a sudden we see this deer coming, not from the, so when you imagine in Pennsylvania, on the right, it's all forest. And on the left, obviously, there's the median in the middle of the uh-huh. highway. So we saw a deer running, not from the forest area on the right where you would expect it to come, but it was coming from the left, from the median. So we weren't expecting, obviously, to see a deer coming from that direction, let alone in it ended up in front of the car uh-huh. very quickly. And so we hit the deer, and it oh, flies. Oh, my like, gosh. Totals no. my friend's car, but it flies. The deer flies like 50 feet in the air behind us. We're doing like 70 miles an hour. We're the only car in that area. My goodness. And so um, and it, it's, it's kind of funny. We can, I can laugh about it now is because um, – do you, do you know what Easy Pass is? Yeah, everyone's yeah. not going to know what it is, but Easy Pass is you like prepay, or you, it's like a little thing that scans when you go into the toll booth. Exactly, and you can pay it online. Is and, it? Or? Yeah, and it's attached to your windshield. Uh huh. Usually, by, like like by Velcro and yeah. like sticky tape or whatever. And so, anyway, when we hit the deer, everything happened so fast. But his Easy Pass flew off the windshield and hit me in the leg. But because everything happened so fast, I actually thought that pieces of the deer deer was coming into the car it broke the windshield and i thought deer meat was coming inside and so we hit the deer and my friend is like oh my god and i'm like but not because of the car or i thought the deer was getting i thought there was deer meat all over me i'm like oh my god Yeah, it was pretty bad. And then once I realized what hit me, then I was like, okay, we're, we're, I'm, I'm good now. What hit you? We mean like what What you hit? Well, you know. Oh, you I mean the easy pass? The easy pass. <laughs> You're talking about the deer. No. <laughs> I, How dare you hit my I car? Thought, yeah, it, it wasn't even about that. It was about the deer. Oh, but um, I did. then after that, we had to figure out. Fortunately, so one of the guys in the back seat, he lived in Ohio at the time. Well, they're going to say he lived with the driver died. No, 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 no. <laughs> he lived nearby. <laughs> and so... <laughs> We had to call, mind you, none of us had cell, wait, did we have cell phones? Maybe we did have cell phones. Uh, Someone had a cell phone. And so we had to call his mom to, and wake her up so she can come meet us like an hour or something like that happened. It was some strange situation. It was weird. It was messed up. Plus my friend had to get his car towed. It was a mess. We still ended up going to the park the next day and all that, or the day or two days after that. But it was just a mess. It was a messy situation because my friend had to get the car the insurance, you know, he had to make sure he got total there to go through all that process while we're trying to enjoy the vacation. So it was kind of crazy. Wow. But that that stood out to me as just a... Yeah, that's what a car crazy. was it, by the way? <laughs> just trying to get a full picture. It was she a, doesn't believe you. It was a Nissan Altima. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not very big. Nope. It was a... And, and I felt bad because my friend bought it brand new while he was living in New York. It was an, and I still remember the year. It was a '97 because I remember talking him talking on the phone with the insurance and going through all the information. It was a '97 yeah. Altima, and this accident happened. I want to say 2005 ish, 2005 2006 around that time. So when you hit the deer, mm-hmm. did it like stop the car a bit, or did you nope. guys just like nope. like you you hit nope. a bump? It did not stop the car at all. What it did was you felt it, it, it was almost it felt it's hard to describe it, but it almost if you can imagine just sitting in a parked car and someone comes and takes a giant teddy bear and just throws it at the windshield, you're going to feel the impact. <laughs> that is so weird. But so, so it was just like a poof. The deer, it was like, now you see it, now you don't. It <laughs> just was like, goodness. it flipped. Because oh, oh, we were, man. think about it this way. We're doing 70 oh, no, I on can, the highway. I can imagine it. We right? hit, and, and the deer <laughs> is kind of tall, so we hit its legs. So um, we hit over. the legs, and yeah. it smashed into the windshield, then flipped over. Oh. So it was like, poof, poof. Yeah. And so it, like it, you, it felt like a little <laughs> bump. It felt like you just hit a little bump. That's how it felt. Man. And that deer went flying. Like I said, the, when the cops came, they were like, "It's oh, the deer is 50 feet behind you. <laughs> the deer's back in New York. 100 feet behind you. Yeah, the deer went, the deer was gone. Man. And it was, and, and, and they're so, I don't want to say they're stupid, but when the headlights hit them, they freeze. Yeah. That's just what they do. Well, it's nature. I, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hence the expression. Yeah, like a deer, deer in headlights. headlights. It froze. It just froze. Baron it it was deer. trotting across. And like I said, we probably would have seen it because you're always keeping your eye open on the wooded area on the right. Uh huh. So you're kind of keeping your eye when yeah, you're looking yeah, ahead yeah, and you're yeah, looking yeah. right. Uh-huh. Like I said, since we were the only car on the road, what may have happened is either the deer 
was coming from the other side of the highway and he jumped over the median and then was continuing across the road or he ran to the median and couldn't get over and so decided to turn around and come oh, back. Oh, yeah. But either way, it scared us because, like I said, he came from the left. Mm-hmm. You're not expecting animals from that side. You're expecting them to be playing on the right side of the road. Yeah. So that's what threw it off. Anyway. I have never hit a deer, but hearing your experience does not make me want to. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Well, I was in a road trip with Danny when we were in North Carolina, and that's all I remember is we were driving. And I was like, oh, cool, look, a deer. Mm-hmm. And then it started running towards the car. I'm like, oh, no, oh my <laughs> yeah, God. Exactly. And yeah. I, like, slammed on the brakes. Dude, but New York, Connecticut, horrible. There's animals all over the place. Don't they have, like, whistles or something you can put on the, the car? Like, they Yes, they do. Does that they work? Do. Eh, I never bought one. My whole thing is if something runs out into the street, I mean, I don't purposely kill animals. But as long as it can fit under the tires, I'm good. <laughs> it's when they're tall and towering over you that I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, so. But, no, um, but no, it, deer, it was always a mess because the, the oh, roads yeah. that we used to take were, you know, wooded a lot of times. Even in, in, in the city, there was wooded areas of cities, like in Connecticut especially. Yeah. So you, you could always run into one. You didn't want to hit a moose because that would total your car. Yeah. We would have felt if we hit a moose or a bear. You don't want to hit a bear. Well, here you got to watch out for cows. Cows. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Because cow would have probably you, killed us. You know the <laughs> best yeah. part about cows? <clears throat> you can't. What? Tipping? Huh? Tipping them? No, I. Who even does that? Anyway, <laughs> if you're out there tipping cows and listening to this podcast, please just stop. <laughs> Educate yourself to have some other fun things to do. Because, dear God. <laughs> Anyways, um. I got a ticket, and I had to go to, like, those driving school, which I like to try to make the best of any situation, even though I fell asleep at the last half of it, and the guy didn't call me out, so I was, like, happy with that. Oh, wow. But he had, like, a slideshow, dude. Uh, anyways, the one thing I thought was interesting was about cows. If you hit a cow, the you ha- you will have to pay the farmer who owns the cow. Mm, not if you can get away. <laughs> <laughs> if your car still runs, yeah. it won't. It won't. I mean, the c- cows are like thick, just <laughs> meaty animals. Dude, and if you, you hit get that, you cut it up and take it with you. So, what is the best way to hit a cow? What's the best way to hit a cow, Aaron? I'll ask you that. That's a pop quiz. Don't. Yeah, yeah, she got it, man. Don't. You're not supposed to say it. I was trying to trap oh. him. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's the second best way to hit a cow, Aaron? I would aim the car for his head. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. Put him out of his misery. No, not for that. Oh. Like, <laughs> if you hit it, like, full on, mm-hmm. it could, like, go into your windshield and, like, just... I believe that, though. Because they're so... Pieces. Yeah, they're huge be the last animal. hamburger you ever eat. Right, exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if you hit it on one side or the other, you won't be taking the full force on the car. Right, that makes sense. Because, uh, yeah... Because in that, in that situation, the cow would be actually coming into the car. And yeah. That would, be a, that would be a problem. So the up end of that, though, is that cows aren't going to be prancing across the street. So True. You just got to be yeah alert, cognizant. Well, I noticed out here, there's actually a, a lot of areas where there is a sign that'll say, it'll warn you, like, hey, yeah, cat, open cattle or whatever. I didn't know you had to pay the farmer. Yep. Assuming you survived it, you would have to pay the Oh, no, farm. even if you die, they they, They'll sue they, they hunt down your family. <laughs> oh, really? And yeah. come after you to Dude, pay for this cow. These farmers are ruthless out here, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, well, well, I'm like, well, build a fence then. <laughs> build a fence. No, man, it's free range, bro. No, no, no. It's all about that free range. You can be free here. range and have fences. <laughs> so you can have both. No, they, they should be able to cross the street like everybody else, okay, Aaron? So you believe in animal, oh, uh, well... I guess animals have rights. <laughs> I guess. You're like, oh, so you believe in animal rights, do you? Huh? <laughs> I guess we should, though. Huh? Yeah. Aaron's <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we should cage them. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't in- implying we cage them, but keep a fence up so they don't run into the street. That's all I'm saying. Let them roam the pastures and stay out the street. It's, like it's the saying. animal's fault. It is. All these streets are here. No, no, it's not the animal's fault at all. But I'm just saying. <laughs> if I owned cows, I would have them on on land where they could roam and not get into the street. That's all I'm but saying. But what if the city decides to build a street within that property? Well, we, Ooh, we, would, have to cr- we would have to cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> cross that street when you get to it. Unless you're a cow, then you can't cross anything because you should know better. 
Uh, but anyway. Have you hit anything on him? I was in a car when we hit a bird once. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> my friend was just like uh what just happened oh man birds are interesting bird. because I when run, i'll hit, I'll hit, I've birds. hit birds. they should know better than being this well, you have wings buddy what are you doing in my territory well i've well, hit a bird flying. yeah oh it was, it was flying, flying and, pretty low. and they ex- I don't, and they don't explode understand. too right did you see it explode <gasps> unfortunately they that's what happens yeah, when they, they hit do. it you just see a poof of feathers yeah. Ugh, leathers leathers of feathers <laughs> just go everywhere <laughs> leather feathers. and it feels horrible it's a horrible feeling because i'm like ooh, i didn't you know yeah. you, no one well i shouldn't say no one but generally speaking you don't you don't want to hurt any type of animal when you're driving. You don't want yeah, to well, run yeah, anything no, over or general. hit anything. So it's still an unnerving feeling when you, like a bird. I've hit birds before, too, and it's just like. Oh, those can be dangerous, too, like owls. It, Someone yeah. hit an owl, and it was like. That stuff will come through your windshield, too, if it, yeah. it can hurt you. So you don't want to ever do it, but unfortunately, it's just the reality. It happens sometimes. You know, but, guys, you just have to live with it. It's a sad fact of life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What was they gonna say? There was something that happened. Did we get that. any more road trips in though? We just went back to <laughs> killing animals. I know. I know. I'm tangent sorry. Again. It's tangent. Man. I love it though. It's it's natural. What I'm oh, just yeah. saying. Yeah. Just well, going with the flow. What yeah. I wanted to talk about was when me and Anna went to California one time, and oh, like yeah. we almost ran out of gas. Being unprepared on a well, it was a spontaneous road trip. Yeah, but. Like, we were in an area, and I was like, oh, I'll wait to get gas. I'm sure that we'll find another place. And it was, like, this sand dune area. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I shut off the AC, and it was, like, super hot. And I was like, we can make it, we can make it. Eventually, we did make it, but I was yeah. afraid we were going to we lose. We were leaving Blythe, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, however you get to Blythe, from Blythe to San Diego. Because mm-hmm. we always like to go to Imperial Beach. Yeah, that was fun. We didn't even have water. <laughs> I think we had run out of water. Yeah, we didn't have any. And it was really hot. Thankfully, oh, we man. survived. So, mm-hmm. in case you were wondering, we turned off the oh, AC know. to I preserve know. gas. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, we've done some road trips together too. We're not going to talk about that, Aaron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were great, though. I always had a blast. <laughs> yeah, we did some, you know, a couple of California trips, and we yeah. had a lot of fun. I always thought they were fun. Although one of them we went on, there was a plane crash that had happened over the freeway before we went. I don't remember that one. Yeah, you could see, like, I, I saw this area where it was charred, and then later on my mom had told me there was, like, some news article about that freeway. There was, like, a plane, like, a small plane crash. Oh, huh. I don't remember that. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But, yeah, I always like going places, experiencing new things. We haven't hit any animals on the strips. Oh, mm. th- yeah, fortunately. <laughs> fortunately. <laughs> You're like, oh. Fortunately, we haven't hit anything. So disappointing. But we do have a road trip coming up, so there's still time. Oh, no. <laughs> El Paso, here we come. Oh, geez. They're going to hit a cowboy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was thinking maybe a bull. Ooh. Oh, no. a, a Texas longhorn. A Texas longhorn. Are they even in that area? Oh, I don't know. Oh. We'll find out. Soon <clears throat> enough. I'm going to eat some good barbecue. Yep. And we might even do a podcast there. Oh, we will. Possibly. And we're going to drag someone on. We'll consider it. From Texas. Do you want a Texas, a Texan on this podcast? You have things against people from Texas, Aaron? Uh, we'll talk about it off record. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't like saying howdy so much. <laughs> and those spurs would be too loud for this microphone. Oh, man. That's funny. Good times. Great oldies. Was there anything else that uh, anybody would like to say before we conclude? Actually, I do have a story, but I'm going to save it for a future podcast. But it, we, we talked about it on our very first one. But okay. That, our, that got yeah. lost. Yeah. No, no. Actually, I'm going to release that one later after you get sick again. Are you serious? Yeah. It's I good. It's, I don't think so. The thing is, I spice it up a little bit by uh. talking at the <laughs> beginning, and then I play the episode, and then I make fun of the episode at the end. I'm like, hey, guys, I know this wasn't that great. But hey, we're here now doing this podcast and everything's good. Uh, it's okay. great. Well, anyway, the story that I told in that one, I wanted that to tell. That is a tell. good story. Yeah. Because that was kind of like a road trip, but it was short. <laughs> 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 Very short. 
That's a car story? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was it. So anything you'd like to say to the audience, Aaron? Thanks for listening, if you are listening. <laughs> <laughs> if you made it this far. I want to thank all of our, I think we're up to like nine listeners now, or our regular. <laughs> well, cool. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bring in the, the clapping. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong sound effect. Nope. There we go. <laughs> nine listeners. Um, no, but that was it. I don't really have anything else, unless you want to tackle another topic but that was pretty much it no we can we can wrap it up here and this has been two crazy scoops podcast the weekend coffee break with your hosts ao antino and na stay tuned next time as we continue to talk about some crazy experiences and hopefully it won't be anything about roadkill um i'm gonna go eat a burger now so you guys have a good night Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.